I'm going to release the Kraken. Ha, huh. that's good news or bad news? Whether on the wrestling mat or in the committee room, Jim Jordan is strategic, scrappy, tough. A man who is an all-state wrestler and wrestling coach and an attorney is a good choice. You don't win uh, national championships in college and be shy about it. He's 156 to 1 uh, in high school wrestling. He was twice the NCAA wrestling champion. It was a stunning exercise in utter stupidity, watching Jim Jordan backers humiliate themselves trying to make the case as to why he should be Speaker of the House, because he used to be a college wrestler. Yep, that makes sense. Since Jim Jordan spent 16 years in Congress as a divisive bomb thrower with no legislative accomplishment, it makes sense to use a two-decade-old college wrestling career. I'll just say this. We made the, we made the pitch to um, members on the resolution as a way to lower the temperature and get back to work. Uh, we decided that wasn't where we're going to go. I'm still running for speaker, and I plan to go to the floor uh, and get the votes and win this race. By the time Jim the Loser emerged to talk to reporters, expressing confidence in his ability to be the speaker, his colleague from the GOP Chaos Caucus was delivering devastating news about his chances to CNN. Do you, do you see Jordan getting to 217 anytime soon, or do you think he's going to keep doing worse and worse? I believe he's done. He needs to say, he needs to withdraw. He's going to lose more votes tomorrow. I know it. I already have. I know who's going to cross over and change. He doesn't have any pathway forward to 217. Yep, Jordan is done. But don't turn him over just yet. He needs to continue to roast his sorry little butt from this side over the hot embers that he stoked himself. And then once he starts screaming about how this side feels, then you can flip him and finish the job. He's done. He's done. These same two words apply to the man who endorses Jim Jordan to run for speaker. Donald Trump is all but done as one of his major partners in Georgia election crimes, flips and brings down the entire roof on his head. Her flipping stands to be monumental and incredibly damaging to Trump and all of Team Crazy. Do you understand the nature of the charges that you would be pleading guilty to today? I do, sir. Release the Kraken. Former Trump election attorney Sidney Powell once famously vowed to release the Kraken by publishing proof that the 2020 election was rigged against Donald Trump. President Trump won by not just hundreds of thousands of votes, but by millions of votes. We have so much evidence, I feel like it's coming in through a fire hose. Wow. President Trump won this election in a landslide. It's going to be irrefutable. I'm going to release the Kraken. But no such evidence existed. She was lying. Trump lost the election fair and square. And she and Trump committed serious crimes together in the name of trying to overthrow that election. Now it turns out Sidney Powell is indeed finally releasing the Kraken against Donald Trump. If you want a sense of just how devastating her plea deal is for Trump, consider that DA Fonnie Willis, an expert in flipping people in racketeering trials, gave Powell more probation in exchange for cooperating. Willis considers Powell's cooperation to be just that valuable. This is how these cases go. Sammy the Bull Gravano once got immunity for several murders in exchange for his testimony against his boss John Gotti. It was that Gravano deal that ultimately took Gotti down. Prosecutors knew that Gravano's testimony would be just that crucial, so they gave him a free pass in exchange for it. And now Sidney Powell is being given a similar deal. The Tangerine Wolverine now has more criminal felony charges than Al Capone, Lucky Luciano, and John Gotti combined. By the way, John Gotti was the original Teflon Don. John Gotti, the Teflon Don. He got that nickname because everyone was so sure nothing would stick to him, and he'd never go down no matter what. We've since heard Donald Trump referred to as Teflon Don, but let's all remember that John Gotti ended up going to prison for the rest of his life. Uh-oh. Trump is headed for the same fate. I'm going to release the Kraken. Somebody say yeah! Donald Trump!